Hi, I'm Alex Kidman from Fat Duck Tech. Continuing my one week experiment, swapping out my usual laptop, a 2011 MacBook Air, for the Surface Pro 3. Now, the Surface Pro 3 is Microsoft's latest hybrid part tablet, part laptop. And so far this week, I've largely been using it as a laptop because that's what I'm kind of testing and reviewing. This is Microsoft's contention that it's a competitor for those kinds of products. The reality though is that it's also a tablet. And so today I concentrated my testing there with, I've got to say, mixed results. Now, as a basic tablet, as a consumption device, yeah, it's pretty good. The screen is really rather nice if you want to use it for video watching. Obviously you can throw whichever web browser you like on it for that kind of task. You can do social networking, that kind of thing. That's all good, that's all there. You've also got the added advantage, of course, that being a full Windows device, you can install any number of Windows games, although very few of them are particularly touch optimized. There's a big problem though, although it's not really specifically a problem with the Surface Pro 3 hardware itself, but it is a problem of Microsoft's making, and that's that the Windows App Store for touch-based devices is rubbish. It's really very, very poor by comparison to those on Google Play or the iOS App Store. There's a lot of junk, there's a lot of scamware. It's, it's really, it's a huge, huge problem and a big disincentive in terms of future feature sets. Now, for you that might be overcome by the fact that yes, this runs full Windows and obviously you can supplement it with any number of full Windows apps that you just don't get on tablets at all, but it's still a bit of a major problem. The other thing I've been testing out today that I hadn't mentioned previously, of course, is the stylus. Now this is a nice bit of tech, I've got to say. It, it works quite well, it's quite responsive. Um, it's quite easy to bring with you because it'll magnetically clasp to the side, although that's not exactly ideal. It'd be a little bit nicer, I've got to say, if it did what the, for example, Samsung Galaxy Note does, where it actually slots into the body of the device. But at least there is a way to take it with you. The other thing, of course, is that no matter what kind of stylus you use, it can't compensate for, shall we say, a stunning lack of artistic talent like that, or for example, like that. Yeah, the stylus is not really a thing that I'm personally going to use a great deal, but it's not a bad thing to have per se. And in many ways for my uses, and I suspect for a reasonable number of laptop users, it's going to be a bit of an afterthought. But if you're of an artistic bent, which clearly in terms of drawing I am not, then it is a perfectly fine bit of kit. Now, I've also been using the Surface Pro 3 as my laptop, as part of this experiment goes, and today has been a little bit better than yesterday was. An update that ran last night seems to have fixed that network problem. It has not reoccurred as yet, touch wood. The battery is holding out reasonably well. I still hold to my contention that you'll get maybe five hours of reasonably solid usage out of it. Certainly a lot less if you hammer it with something heavy and certainly a fair bit more, obviously, if you're only using it occasionally. 